How to use new Shopify search and discovery app for beginners. Hey guys, welcome to Shopify tutorial. Today I'm showing you how you can use the new Shopify search and discovery app. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is you're going to sign into your Shopify store or you can sign up on Shopify.com using your Google account or email address. So if you have a store on Shopify, you have to find the right, uh, you know, products. You need a tool for your search, for your research and for discovery of new products. So Shopify has launched their new app, which is called Shopify Search and Discovery. So that's what we will be discussing today. So for that, let's not waste our time and go to our settings. Uh, once you click on settings, you have to scroll down a little bit to find the apps and sales. Now, within our apps and sales channel, I'm going to click on Shopify App Store and it will take you to our official app store of Shopify. Now, in the search bar to save time, you will just search for Shopify search and discovery. There you go. And here we have our results. You can see this is our Shopify search and discovery. So I'm going to open it up. So this is our app right here, which is completely free. What is Shopify uh, discovery and search? Well, you can see you will be able to customize filters to let shoppers refine their search by multiple categories. You will be able to make synonym groups so product description matches the terms shoppers use. Use product boost to feature products you want highlighted in search results. Add related and complementary products on product detail pages. Access analytics to understand your store's search and discovery performance. So you can see with all of these different features, you will be able to increase and improve your customer experience. And this way you will be making more sales and making more money. Let's install our app. So you're going to click on install. And now we're going to click on install app again. It will take you just a few seconds to redirect. So here we have our search and discovery. Uh, here I can create the filter for the grouping. Then we have the filter translations. Feature overview, we have the edit your existing filters, promote your products, and help your customers find product easier. Now, you might be wondering that what difference it makes to add this search and discovery app or should you add it or not? Well, it will make a huge difference to the user experience when they come to your store. What happens is, for example, if I am a customer and I have a store in front of me that allows me to filter my search and to find the right product I was looking for, to simplify things for me, to translate things for me, I will definitely be very impressed by this store and it will show me the store is actually a very good store and it will help me uh, kind of like understand the brand. And as a seller, it will help you improve your store to a level where you will have a very authentic brand store and you will be able to improve the customer experience and improve your store so uh, how to create the filters for that i'm going to simply go to this option here so we're going to go to the filters and click on add filter now uh, i will be adding some of the filters here so for the source i am going with tags and i'm going to add the label more filters let's call it tags and you can see these are going to be according to the tags of different uh, products that I have added. Click enter and a new filter will be added. Similarly, I will go to add filters again. And this time I want to source it to the size because I want my, uh, you know, customers to kind of like customize their search. So here we have the values and I will be selecting all of these options because this is the group that I have already created on my products. So I will hit save. And now you can see we have this filter created and people will be able to customize their search according to sizes. Uh, similarly, I can add more. If I click on view, it will take me to my store. And now you can see we have these filters available. At the top here, you can see filter, availability, price, and size. There you go. It looks so good. You can see how it improved my product page with these filters. So this is actually really impressive. Uh, then uh, we can go back to our other options such as the search. So I'm going to go to search here, product boost or synonyms. So in product boost, I'm going to create a product boost 
at the top. Let's go for the search bar here. The search term is going to be Let's Say Hoodie. This is the boosted product are displayed on the search result page when the customer search for these items. Click on add. And now you will see that there is a boost given to a specific product uh, with this niche. You can see we have these product names. So I will be adding it right here. So now you can see we have this product and I gave one of the products a product boost. We can do this with our different featured collections. We can do this with the uh, highest selling product and we can show our customers that, okay, this is the best result for you uh, for your search. Then we have the synonym. This is also right uh, because I want to add some synonyms to it so that people sometimes don't know the right keywords, but they will still be able to find the products. So let's create a synonym group. Uh, again, uh, we will just add few of the words here. Let's say I want to add like hoodie. Then I want to add um, winter clothes. Then I'm going to add the winter collection. So these are all kind of like the same words and they will show the same products to my uh, customers. Uh, we have hoodie. We have this. Then I'm also going to go with a sweater. Let's go with this one. And then uh, for the title, I'm going with hoodie. Click on save and now it will show me some of my products that I can add here. So once the editing is done, we can add the product. There you go. So now you can see we have one synonym group created and this will help my customers with the search. Then we have the recommendations. So with recommendations, what I can do is we can add some of the products in recommendation. Again, you can do this with your featured collections, with your hot selling product, uh, with the product that you feel has the potential to be the hot selling. Then you can just suggest these products to your customers. And this way you will be able to kind of like improve your sales and to improve your store. Then uh, we have the basic settings when it comes to the search and discovery app. Within your search and discovery app, you can see we have the basic three options, which is the filter, search and recommendation. And you can even scroll down to check the analytics. So we will also be getting the search performance here where I can find my click rate. We can find the purchase rate, top online store searches with no results. Uh, again, in recommendation, I can check the performance of my filters that I have created. And this way, you will have a store that is efficient, that is helpful, and that showcases your brand that aligns with your brand name and has the best user experience. So yeah, guys, you can go ahead and check out the search and discovery app, uh, which is a new Shopify app available. You can add it to your store for free. If this video was valued to you, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.